Hey, welcome back to No High Beer Review. Today's beer comes courtesy of my man, Jim. So thank you, Jim. This is, I believe, the last of like the regular uh, New Glarus fruit beers. Uh, he just sent me a new one, a picture, not the actual beer. Uh, new to me, at least. Um, Crambic, maybe? Like a semi-regular, once a year, once every couple years kind of a beer. But anyway, this is Raspberry Tart, um, a beer I know I quite enjoy. Um, I've had this before a few times. And um, I'm going out of town for the long weekend, so I'm probably not going to have a chance to do a beer review for a few days. And um, I thought, you know what? Let me pick a beer I know I'm going to like, since it might be my last beer review for a few days. And uh, and also after doing that Rosetta from Oma Gang, um, just something with some nice fruit. It's not like it was going to hit the spot. All right. Um, I didn't look up the ABV, but these are pretty low. Yeah, it doesn't say ABV into the uh, glass what it looks like yeah they're definitely very red not surprising that it was aged on uh, a fruit that's as red as raspberries so you definitely get that color it's beautiful jeez let's get the aroma <laughs> so i do happen to love raspberries um you know just eating them by the handful and a dessert all that kind of stuff and that smells like raspberries <laughs> Sometimes I talk about like appropriately named beers. Raspberry, a little bit of tartness. That's what this beer smells like. So very good name. Super slight vanilla from the oak. A little bit of an apple. But really, it's not surprising that raspberry's dominating this one. Uh, I'm so excited to get in this glass. Cheers. Has a pretty strong raspberry taste. So definitely if you don't like raspberries, stay the heck away from this. Um, and and I said this in a lot of these fruit beers uh, videos. You get a little bit of that tartness coming, but then the fruit kind of like rounds it out. So it's not overly tart at all. It's definitely not a sour beer uh, or, or very puckering. But it's, enough, it's, it's not just straight juice. It's not like I'm drinking raspberry juice because there's a little bit more of that twang whatever you want to call it you do get a lot of raspberry a little bit of that barrel comes through not a ton great mouthfeel for how low the abv is um yeah it's pretty creamy good carbonation just really adds to that experience um effervescent without a doubt it says even do it in like a champagne flute um, i just picked this relatively relatively uh, narrow Oma Game glass. I'm going to do the Rosetta out of. So as I said, very appropriately named beer. Probably kind of a boring beer review. Uh, a lot of raspberry. You do get some of the barrel it was in. Uh, awesome mouthfeel. That tartness, that not funk, but like that twang. It's awesome. Uh, you do get a little bit of apple in there. Not quite like you. I don't think someone would think this tastes like a raspberry cider. We do get a little bit of that hard cider vibe as well. But um. It's just an awesome, awesome beer. And I've said this, and I think all of these fruit beers from New Glarus. If I could go to the store and easily buy New Glarus fruit beers, I probably wouldn't do a beer review channel because I'd probably just be drinking this stuff every day. The amazing taste for how low the ABV is, I, I could just totally see myself doing one of these a night and just being very happy. So I guess luckily I don't live in an area where I can easily get it. Uh, I don't live in Wisconsin. Um, thanks again for saying it, Jim. Really appreciate it. Thank you guys for watching. I always appreciate that. Check me out on Instagram and Untapped. No high beer reviews at both those places. So always please like, comment, subscribe, and most importantly, imbibe. Cheers, everyone.